It's one of the most mysterious dinosaurs ever discovered. A killer, even larger than T-Rex. His name is Spinosaurus. Well, this animal is a fabled beast. I make the comparison to Nessie, the Loch Ness Monster, or the Sasquatch, or the Abominable Snowman. Spinosaurus is one of the great mysteries of the dinosaur world. This chamber of horrors, this <laughs> scene of carnage and destruction, you know, it's a very, very striking image. Problem is, it's a scene that continues to confound paleontologists. They've found all these fossils of carnivores from this period, but relatively few herbivores for them to eat. This is unheard of. There's too many predators. And when you look for the herbivores that are found in the formation, it's hard to find a herbivore footprint. Stromer himself realized this puzzle. Maybe there was uh, competition for mates. Maybe the health, the size of your spine was an important factor. To thrive in water. It is one of the great mysteries of the dinosaur era that every other major group has seemed to invade the water and no dinosaur had ever done this. Never a dinosaur with a fin for swimming. Never a dinosaur with anything we could point to to say that was adapted for being in water. With this revelation comes a long-awaited explanation for how Spinosaurus and all the other monster predators of Africa's late Cretaceous competed for prey. Quite simply, they didn't. Some large dinosaurs would have preyed on the region's limited meat supply. Spinosaurus may have only come up on land when it needed to, to lay eggs or move to another river. But put it in the water and it was perfectly adapted to hunt a boundless supply of fish. Paddle-like feet and powerful tail propel it through the murky, turbid water. Sensors in the snout help home in on prey. And at precisely the right moment, Spinosaurus does what its body is built to do. It all makes sense, you know, being big, having these strange proportions, having these unusual feet, this big sail. 